Check out this delicious Cuban mojo pork that I made in the Instant Pot. I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you make it and let me know how it turns out. The first thing I did was make some orange zest. I got this zester, I believe at Target. And then I made a little bit of that and put that to the side. Next, I made some lime zest. And then once I was done with that, I did a little bit less of that and put it to the side. I just kind of did it to taste depending on how much you want. Then I fresh squeezed three oranges. And once I was done with the oranges, I also did the same thing with three limes. I like to make sure that I use everything fresh. I don't like to buy the store-bought lime juice. So I used the three fresh limes and also juice those and put those in a bowl. And once I was done with that, I put that to the side and here you see both and then both of the zests. And then here I have the garlic and the cilantro. Went ahead and put that through the Ninja Bullet and now they're all finely chopped. First thing I did to the Instant Pot was add Himalayan salt. Then I added some black pepper, everything to taste. Next I add in all of the orange juice. Then I add in all of the lime juice. And then the next step is to add in all of the zest. So I have the orange zest here, and then the lime zest. Then I add in half a cup of olive oil. I use the organic olive oil. And then I add in all of the chopped garlic. I use one entire head of garlic. Next, I add in dried oregano, one tablespoon of that. Then also some cumin. I use the cumin to taste, depending on how you'd like. And then next I add in some fresh cilantro, and I did save half of that to put on the top of it once it was cooked. And then here is the piece of pork shoulder. I'm doing four slices on it, and inside of the slices, I'm gonna be adding some of that uh, mixture that I put in the Instant Pot. So here's what it looks like after four hours. Now we're gonna go ahead and transfer it onto a plate.